Hello everybody. I hope you guys are doing well. As you guys know, I'm Clayton. <laughs> I've done a lot of lecture videos for you guys and you guys seem to be enjoying them. So first of all, I just want to thank you all for your support. It's been great. Uh, there will be some changes coming to the videos after the midterm as you guys will probably see, but overall, I'm happy you guys are enjoying them. My main goal is to have it so that you guys have as nice of a time with this course as possible. I know this course can be hard sometimes, especially at the beginning. It's, it's a lot. Especially for all the kids that are just coming out of high school, it's it's a big change. High school, they would hold your hand, they would give you a lot of one-on-one -on -one time, they give you a lot of time just to study. And as you guys are probably figuring out, time is probably the biggest issue you guys have now, right? It sucks, but what can you do? Now, I was told to kind of make a nice video for you guys, and this is great. I love interacting with you guys because, as you guys also know, I'm not teaching this year. Well, I'm not teaching Edge 130, I'm teaching a different course, but <laughs> I guess that's besides the point. So I just want to make this video and cheer you guys on. You guys are going to do great in the midterm. I heard it's online. Eh, online's never the best, but trust me, you guys will do fine. I know you guys are probably very nervous, and trust me, I've been there. I remember when I took Edge 130, I went to the U of A myself. Yeah, I did not do good on the first midterm of Venge 130. Well, at least when I took the course, it was the only midterm, which <laughs> kind of sucks because throughout my videos for the first part, I always talked about the old midterm format. Apparently now they have two midterms instead of one and they're online, stuff like that. When I took it, it was in person. And that was the most terrifying time of my life. I remember sitting in that lecture room thinking, uh oh, <laughs> I'm underprepared, I'm not ready stuff like that and honestly I guarantee that almost 99% of you guys are feeling the same way. Now if you guys watch the videos, you guys pay attention to your lectures because you guys have such amazing instructors, you guys will do fine. You guys will do absolutely fine. The secret to midterms, which is the secret to many things in life, <laughs> lower your standards. All right, If you get average, that's great. If you get below average, it's also fine. One of the secrets that I don't like to tell people I didn't get above average on my Edge 130 midterm. You're thinking, what? Are you kidding me? You teach the course. Well, at least I used to teach the course, maybe next year again. But yeah, I was below average on Edge 130 myself. And honestly, for the first part of first year, and a little bit of second year, I'll be honest, I was an average slash below average student. It's very difficult to make that transition into university. And I want to let you guys know that. If you guys are struggling right now, it's okay. You guys will find your way. Everyone talks about, well, if I don't get a good mark, I'm going to drop out, etc. No, you won't. I've taught the course. I've seen the dropouts. And from what I've seen, people that drop out, they do it because they realize that they just don't like engineering. It's not because they fail out. Okay, so if you guys like engineering, you like what you're doing, but you're a little bit concerned about your grades, don't worry. Everything will be fine. Okay, so take a deep breath, relax. Everything will be fine you will find your groove eventually. Me personally, it wasn't until my third year. First year was tough, second year was even harder. It takes a while. And second year was harder, not content wise, but you just get more stuff. As you guys have probably seen, the thing that struggle you guys are struggling with the most is perhaps time management. It's not so much that Eng 130 is hard, but Eng 130 is hard when you have math, physics, chemistry, all that other stuff piled onto it. Now, another thing too, is if you guys are worried about the midterm, and then it makes you worry about the final, don't. Finals are also easier because for the finals, you don't have any assignments to do. You don't have any classes to go to, stuff like that. So this first midterm here, it might be probably one of the worst that you will write, but again, don't worry, everything will be fine. All right, guys, so I just wanna let you guys know, everything will be fine, don't freak out. I believe in you guys. You guys are the smartest people I know, and I, I hope to meet some of you guys one day. Again, I'm not teaching Inch 130 this year, but I'm sure I'll see you around. And if you guys go into Civil, <laughs> you guys will definitely be seeing me around. So that that's all I want to say. Thank you guys so much. And again, the support on the videos has been amazing. I'm going to start transferring them over to this account. Uh, the U of A account that I just created will be the, the censored versions. I kind of got a, a little slap on the wrist for some of the choice language I use. <laughs> so you guys will see the change, but don't worry. I'll have all the videos you guys need. And if you guys have any questions, you guys can email me at any time. I'm always happy to help. All right, guys, good luck on the midterm, and I will see you guys in the next video.